Welcome back to my Extreme Rules um recap, review, thoughts, and you know all that stuff about Extreme Rules. Extreme Rules really was up and down. You know, I was a lot of things that I didn't like, and it was some things I really liked. I'm gonna discuss further into that. So I have my opinions, which I'll discuss soon. Right now, and you guys have yours, so don't go in the comments hating. Just keep it to yourself. Or be constructive about it. Anyway, let's get into my um review with these matches. First, we had um Dean Ambrose versus The Miz. If Dean Ambrose lost by DQ, he basically would forfeit the title. Um, this match was good enough. It lasted longer than I expected, and it was a decent match. Everybody was chanting, you know, this is awesome type of chance. To me, it was pretty decent. Even though the outcome was good, you know, The Miz was The Miz. He did his little things. He cheated his way. By, uh, you know, throwing Dean to the referee and then basically the referee was almost by the DQ him until he hit him with the Skull Christian finale. Count one, two, three and went along with it. So I'm happy that the Miz won and I can't wait to see the Miz as a top heel championship again. Anyway, let's get on to the next match. Next we had um Bailey and Alexa. <sighs> this match. This match couldn't go no longer than 10 minutes. I was disappointed. Plus the fact that Bailey got squashed and buried. Alexa, you know, she's all that. She's all, you know, all talk but no skills. Probably we hope to see women like Nat Jax prove, prove many wrong. And the reason why we like Alexa is because of her, you know, her ass and um, because of her mic skills and beauty. Hopefully someone proves that. I was going with Alexa, but most fans want to see it. And not me much, but it's pretty much all of them. I don't really care. I didn't really care about the outcome of this match anyway. I like both of them equally. I like Bailey as much as I do as Alexa. So, okay, Alexa got the win. Good for her. Now she's still champion. But for Bailey, this there's still one question. Where does that leave her for now in the title picture since she's out of it? Where does that leave her? We'll have to find out soon enough. Let's get to the next match. All right, next we had the cruiserweight match, you know, Neville versus um, Austin Aries. Um, I'm not going to discuss the Noam Dar and uh, Alicia Fox versus Sasha Banks and Swan. Basically, Swan and Sasha won. They got the win. Good for them. And I'm going to mainly discuss the more important matches than this. And let's get started. All right, Austin Aries, I was kind of upset that he lost. I feel like after this loss... He doesn't deserve to be in the um cruiserweight cl cruiserweight. He deserves better. He does. He'll do more better when he's on the main roster. Honestly, in my opinion, because he would dominate if he went to SmackDown, but that's unlikely gonna happen. He just needs to leave the cruiserweight division, honestly. But we'll see what happens from there on. We'll see soon enough tonight on Raw. And yeah, this is recorded hours before Raw happens, so I'll see you soon. Not like the end of the video soon, but like, you know, sooner for my future videos. And plus, let's get to the next match. Next, we had the Hardys against um, Sheamus and Cesaro. I was happy that Cesaro and Sheamus won because of the fact that, you know, they're, they're going to be a top um, heel tag team. But then, I kind of want the Hardys to split, but then there's a problem. If it's true about Enzo getting betrayed by Big Cass, that'll leave Enzo and Cass out of the situation. And plus, the Hardys would be out of the tag team picture as um separate so they give them less tag teams and the only tag teams left are like you know as baby faces are um heath slater and rhino and uh and the hardys basically after that there's not nothing much in the tag team competition not even nxt has much nxt tag teams ever since um gargano be got betrayed by di um tomaso champa but i hope they resolve this issue but I'm happy that Sheamus and Cesaro won. Let's see how their ring goes on towards and more defeating with the Hardys. Let's see how it goes on from there on. Next match. All right, next we have the Fatal Flyway match, according to this photo. Anyway, I, I, I wanted Seth to win, but it's like a want. People have their wants, but then the obvious reason was Joe and Roman most likely winning, and Joe won, basically. I'm happy that Joe won, and I hope Samoa Joe versus um, Brock Lesnar makes up for the ridiculous name of Great Balls of Fire, in which I saw the promo, and basically it literally looks like balls, honestly. No homophobic um, slurs, but it just does. 
But anyway, I'm happy Joe won. I hope Joe versus Don Brock kicks ass at, at Great Balls of Fire. And that's going to conclude my video. I hope you enjoyed it and stuff. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and comment your, your opinions. And I'll see you guys around. Peace.